Welcome to Concept Craft. Introducing the Accounting Arena Book, your ultimate guide to mastering the fundamentals of accounting. Embrace the world of accounting knowledge at your fingertips. Act now and get your copy of Accounting Arena ebook link is available in the description below. Keep learning. Keep growing. Happy learning. Now let's begin our today's lesson. Calculating COGS under the periodic method of inventory. The periodic the periodic method of inventory is a system that records the cost of goods sold COGS, at the end of an accounting period, rather than at the time of each sale or purchase. To calculate COGS under this method, you need to follow these steps. 1. Determine the beginning inventory value. This is the cost of the inventory that you had at the start of the period. You can find this value from your previous accounting records or by conducting a physical count of your inventory. 2. Add the purchases made during the period. This is the cost of the inventory that you bought during the period. You can find this value from your purchase invoices or receipts. 3. Subtract the ending inventory value. This is the cost of the inventory that you have at the end of the period. You can find this value by conducting a physical count of your inventory or by using an estimation method such as FIFO or LIFO. 4. The result is your COGS for the period. This is the cost of the inventory that you sold during the period. You can use this value to calculate your gross profit and gross margin. Here is an example of how to calculate COGS under the periodic method of inventory. Beginning inventory, $10,000. Purchases, $15,000. Ending inventory, $12,000. COGS equals $10,000 plus $15,000 to $12,000 equals $13,000. Assumptions used in calculating COGS under the periodic method. One of the assumptions used in calculating COGS under the periodic method is that the inventory cost flow is either FIFO, first in, first out, or LIFO, last in, first out. This means that either the oldest or the newest units of inventory are assumed to be sold first, regardless of the actual order of sales. Another assumption is that the physical inventory count at the end of the period reflects the actual quantity and cost of the inventory on hand. This means that any errors or discrepancies in the inventory records are ignored and adjusted for in the next period. A third assumption is that the purchases of inventory during the period are recorded at their acquisition cost, which includes any freight, taxes, discounts, or other costs related to acquiring the inventory. This means that the purchase cost of inventory is not affected by any changes in market prices or exchange rates during the period.